till now we have seen how to create this sign up form how to apply stylings for this how to add background image for that and also we have seen how to create this sign in form now whenever user enters the data this data should be stored inside the tables and that tables will be present inside the databases to work with databases first we need to create the database now in this we are going to create database then we are going to create tables and inside tables we are going to add some of the columns okay now to use that one we have already started this mysql as we already discussed we are going to use mysql database in this project now here i'll just write here localhost php my admin as soon as we write this one it will open php my admin dashboard okay this is the php my admin dashboard now if you are visiting for the very first time then left side you will be having only five databases by default it will be created you will not have any databases this cred operation this e-commerce this my store these are the databases what i have created okay you will not be having this databases by default you will be having only five databases here you will be having test database php my admin performance schema information schema okay this databases you will be having by default now for this project i'm just going to create a new database so for that i'm just going to click on this new whatever database name you want you can give as of now i'm just going to give here registration okay once we give the name i'll just click on create okay now you can see database registration has been created and my database is present here now my database is created now i have to create the table i'll just give the table name as user underscore data and totally i want three columns first is for user id second is for username and third is for password okay confirm password i don't want to store inside the database only password and username i want to store so here i am just going to create three fields user id username and user password once i have given the column names i'll just click on go if you don't give the column names then also no problem once you create the table here we will be having option to add the columns okay from here also we can add the columns okay now inside this first field i'm just going to give user id then second i'll be giving user name then third i'm just going to give password okay totally three columns i'm just going to create for user id i'll be giving the type as int length i'm not going to give because whenever we are giving integer data type then by default it is going to take 11 as its length okay as of now i'm not going to give the length for username i'm just going to give the type as varchar varchar means we can use text in that and for this i'm just going to give the length as 100 maximum is 255 minimum is 0 based on your requirement whatever length you want to give you can give for the name then for password i'm just going to give varchar and here i'm just going to use 255 because we are going to do password hashing so whenever we are doing password hashing it is suggested that we have to use the length as 255 Okay, now once it is done i'll just scroll down for user id i'm just going to check on this auto increment okay ai stands for auto increment what i am telling here is whenever i enter the user i don't have to enter the id number by default it is going to increment the value by one each and every time the new user is added it is going to assign the id for that and each and every time it will increment the value by one now suppose inside the database the data khanam is being stored and for khanam the user id is 1 now second sima is registering sima is not giving any id by default it is going to increment the value by 1 that is 1 plus 1 2 will be assigned to sima okay this is how it is going to work as soon as i check on this inside this null index i am having this primary okay if you are not getting this one just click on this drop down and here you will be having multiple options and from here you can just select primary okay primary means in this entire table this user id is unique this user id cannot have duplicate values okay only one time it can take the value okay, now once it is done okay this is the table we have created here we are having the save option just click on this save and this table will be created inside the database registration you can see this user data has been created inside this database registration we are having this user data now this user data is completely empty i don't have any data inside this you can see this table is completely empty no user is registered and also we have not written any php code for this 
now when i click on this structure it is going to display me the table structure where i am having all these things for this user id you can see we are having this auto increment and also we are having this key which is going to indicate in this table this user id is primary key then we are having username and then finally we are having this password okay this is how we are going to create database and then we are going to create tables inside that one okay how many tables you want how you can connect to the tables it completely depends on your project requirement okay in this project we are going to use only one table later maybe in future whenever we are creating e-commerce websites then we can create multiple tables we will see how to connect to the multiple tables but as of now for this project requirement we need only one table and we have just created that table user data next we are going to see how to connect to the database once we are able to connect to the database only then we can perform all the operations related to database